Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator 22. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to make an enormous purchase. Probably the most expensive thing we have bought to date in this series. Um, so, let's see, where to start here? So, if you look in the upper right-hand corner, you can see that I have $1,185,968. It is April 1st, by the way, so I just moved through February and March off-camera because I wanted to get to April in particular so that we could do our clothing sales and add even more money to our wallet for what we're going to purchase um so let's see here let's let's take a look at finances from the previous two months um so basically this is due to me repurchasing the round bale storage so what i did there is I, I took out that second stave silo like I said I was going to do. I'm keeping this one and I'm using this one to make my own silage for my own cows. And then um, I added this round bale storage back in. Unfortunately, I can't get rid of the grass around it. I tried to paint it, but every time I stop and restart the game, it comes back. So it is what it is. And But we do got that really nice round bale storage back. Um, I'm thinking about also while we're in this menu, even though I just got out of it. <laughs> um, I finally got all the silage out of this bunker here, and I'm thinking about um, deleting this or selling it. We get $11,000. In fact, we're just going to do it and putting another one of the um, easy sheds in here for $10,000. Um, so we need to turn it this way. And just have it another shed over in this area. Looks like we're going to have to. Uh... Yeah, why don't we just do that? Okay, it's a done deal. Now I have another shed to put some things in. Um... I think it's actually okay. Whoops, uh, the way that it is. It does kind of start to dip down a little. Oh, don't do that. In the back there, but I don't think that's actually a problem. Okay, so, um, so I'm going to move some things over to, the, to this new little shed later on. It is still my intention to buy a really big, nice shed and probably put it over here. Uh, but we're not quite at the point yet where I want to do that. So... All right, so that takes care of all of that stuff. So anyway, back to the finances. Um, so let's see, we sold that stave silo here in March. And then, you know, these are just the usual expenses, though. As you can see, I did a lot of work in March, so we had uh, quite a bit of money going out in vehicle running costs. Uh, leasing costs are up here in March. I'm not sure why. Uh, why is that so much higher than February? I don't remember leasing anything extra in March. Um, I don't know. Let's look at the. Let's look at the leases. Yeah, I don't know why that's so much higher. I didn't I haven't leased anything new. So I can't explain that. I, I'm not sure why that's so much higher, but it is. January, we lease uh, semi-trucks and trailers, so that makes sense. But normally, you know, all the stuff we have on hand should be 2362. I don't know why that went up. I'll have to think about it and see if I can try and remember why that is. Um, yeah, because it's like almost twice as much. Uh, no, it's over twice as much. What did I do in March? For leasing. <laughs> I don't remember. Hmm. Okay. Well, anyway, moving right along. Uh, property maintenance in March and February is about the same. Production cost is about the same. Uh, we brought in $118,000 in February from our greenhouses. And in March, we brought in $112,000 because I didn't, I don't think I sold any product other than just the greenhouses there. Uh, fuel costs, $1,260. Uh, water costs are about the same. 
Uh, now, I did do some fertilizing contracts in March, uh, $50,311 worth of fertilizing contracts, to be precise. I spent um, about $8,800 on chemical fertilizer, on granular fertilizer, to do get all of those done. And um, isn't there a fertilizer cost in here? Oh, I, I did it from my, my storage bin, so that's why it doesn't actually show up here. Uh, we paid workers $4,000, uh, mostly for helping us do our hay, and we paid $2,834 and $2,002, respectively, for pallet distribution in those two months. We are currently now sitting at 1000 or sorry, $1,187,541. Uh, okay, so that is where we are financially. And as you can see, it's April 1st. Um, all of our critters should be in good shape. The chickens are in good shape. I topped off uh, the cow's feed uh, right before I started the recording. So they're in good shape. The sheep are in good shape. Uh, as far as our productions go, we're in good shape for all of our greenhouses. And um, it looks like this silage factory has finished uh, making silage for us. Uh, so this is basically um, add another fifty thousand to this. So basically, we we did five seventy nine uh, for our first hay cutting in silage. The reason for that, of course, is because I put fifty thousand liters in our stave silo for our own use, and that's still cooking up the rest of it. It's almost finished there. Uh, bakery's in good shape. We could probably stand to to purchase another thousand liters of sugar. So let's just do that right now. Um, dairy's in good shape. It's got over 14,000 liters of milk and this is chocked full with wool and clothes and everything else is good. This just stays red because basically the warehouse passes it right over to the tailor. It doesn't even store it. So everything else is good. Um, what we're going to sell this month in April is wool and clothing. And I'm expecting a nice little chunk of change from that, which is going to then go towards our enormous purchase. Okay, so oh, whoop, I don't want to get in there quite yet. Let's go ahead and come over here. And we want to grab all of our clothes out of here. So 9,787 liters. That's 10 pallets worth of clothes. All right, so that's going to be around 100 grand right there. Load it all up. Okay, so who is going to purchase this? Probably the grocery store, but let's take a look. Uh, close. Oh, no. MJ's Mini Mart is over 10000 uh, for the close, so that's really good. Nine ninety nine one was the high price last year. Okay, what about wool? Because that's the other thing we have quite a bit of extra of. 1225 looks like Johnson's is going to do wool and I don't think Johnson's takes clothes so we can load it all up right now it does not okay so let's pull all the wool out of here too and that we will run up to Johnson's after we sell to MJ's mini mark 19,756 liters of wool 20 pallets that's a beautiful thing we probably aren't even going to be able to fit all of it on here. Yeah, in fact, you know what? Since MJ's Mini Mart is on our property, as if you guys remember, Mama Joe's leasing the land that she has her shops on. Let's just drop this off first in hopes that we can get all of the wool in one shot. Okay, be prepared for the lag, because here it comes. Oh, hold on. Stupid steering wheel. I still haven't figured out why sometimes it remembers its setting and sometimes it doesn't. Okay, guys, are you ready for some cha-ching here? $98,945 make you holla. Not too bad. Seems to me like we made a little bit more last year than that, but maybe not. I don't know. I don't remember. I have to go back and watch that video. But that's good. We'll take it. 
All right, let's load up this wool. One, two, three, four, five. So that gives us 15 pallets. Uh, we were supposed to have 21, I believe, right? So I don't know why this doesn't pop out all of the pallets like it says it's going to, but it doesn't. It's kind of weird. Oh, you're going to you're going to pull that on me again, huh? All right. Well, the problem is is I, I could stack those on there, but I don't think it's going to let me strap them down. So, we'll just make two trips. I suppose I could have grabbed the curtain side, but then I got to get the man truck out. So, yeah, we'll just make two trips. Not that big a deal. All right, $18,390 for that first load. And another 5,800 bucks and change for the second load. All right, guys, so we are sitting at $1,309,709. We are going to go into the sales and we're going to purchase this flagel trailer legal trailer uh 60 percent off 37 months but it's it's over double the capacity of our brantner trailer and it doesn't have a dolly attachment so it's going to be easier to back up and it can hold just about anything in the game uh so we're going to purchase this there's nothing well we can change the wheels but i don't really care about that so we're going to buy that and then we're going to grab the Brantner and take it down to the shop and sell it. We'll make a little over four grand back on that because we don't need it. Woohoo! Got a little air there. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, repair, repaint, and sell. Oh, wow. We're going to get 7,324 back for that. Okay. Well, we spent money on the paint, though. Cool. Okay, so that brings us up to 1.29 mil. All right. If you haven't already guessed, because I did kind of drop a hint about this a few episodes ago as to what we're going to buy, we, ladies and gentlemen, are going to buy uh, the BGA, the biogas plant. I was curious why farming simulator calls it BGA and I guess BGA is an abbreviation for the German word for biogas plant which I'm not going to even attempt to pronounce <laughs> uh, so that's what it, what BGA why it's called BGA in the game but as far as I know this is the single most expensive thing you can purchase in uh, well at least on Elm Creek in farming simulator, this sucker costs 1.5 million dollar. Make you holla. Um, but my understanding is that we can make some big time money uh, by owning this, and this is really the end game for silage. You know, so we've been in the silage business pretty much almost from day one, and we go to a lot of work. You know, to to sell that silage in January, and we make some pretty decent money. But this is the end game. Um, so what I expect will happen here is that we will, um, you know, we'll, most of our silage will go to the plant here, and I, and I should be able to just distribute it directly to the plant. We don't even have to deliver it because it's just another production. Uh, but I'm, you know, most more than likely we'll still be producing more silage than the plant needs. I mean, I don't know that. We we'll, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, and we'll still have some excess silage that we can st all still sell at the end of the year, but it won't be like the big ginormous, you know, 50 loads like we've been doing. Though auto drive made that process so much nicer, you know, the last time we did it. So with the biogas plant, um, well, here, let's just buy it first so I can show you uh, what, what happens here. So we're going to have to take a bit of a loan from the bank. Uh, so we're sitting at 1292. So let's go here. And we're going to 
borrow, you know, we need 1.5 million to buy this and then we're going to need a little operating cash on top of that. So let's just get ourselves to 1.5 million first. And as you guys know, you know, this, we'll be able to pay this back very quickly. Okay. So that gets us to 1.5 and then we need a little bit of operating cash. Uh, not a lot though, because I took all the hay contracts again and we'll, we should make uh, lots, you know, close to six figures by the time we're done with all of that. But we do need some operating cash. So let's get ourselves up to, yeah, 1532. So basically we just borrow, wait, you know what? Let's just make it an even $250,000 that we just borrowed from the bank. Okay. So now what we're going to do is go here and we're going to buy this sucker for $1.5 million. Make it holla. Woo wee. Okay. <laughs> Poof. That money just disappeared. But we are now the proud owners of the Elm Creek BGA plant. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go into our productions right here. And we're going to have the game lock up. Come on. What the heck's going on here? It's not letting me scroll. Okay, let's get out of that menu and back into this menu. Oh, for Pete's sake, come on, game. What's it, what are you doing to me, man? It won't let me scroll. Did we just break the game by buying the biogas plant? Um, all right, let me reboot. I'll be right back. Something's not working correctly here. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, let's hope that things are working now. There we go. Now we can scroll. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to go to Silage Factory 1. And we want to select our silage. And we want to change this to distributing. And then what should happen, I guess, at the top of the hour is it should distribute the silage over to here. Now, what we want to do here is we want to activate, uh, oh, I guess it's already activated. Okay, I want to deactivate manure, slurry, and sugar beet cut, which are the other three products that we can use to make biogas and just have it <coughs> uh, be silage for now. Um, so what happens here now is that um, 8,484 units of silage is converted into 5,884 units of power and 2,545 units of digestate. Now, the digestate we can then use later on if we want to as fertilizer, or we can sell it. Um, so, the plan moving forward now is to just distribute our silage to the biogas plant and then it should start making us money now i'm not exactly sure how much money it's going to make but you know it's supposed to be pretty good because i mean for for the <laughs> for the investment we just made in this thing it better be good put it that way uh but it's supposed to be pretty good and um this is going to now become like our greenhouses uh just automatic money coming in um, every month. So, yeah. So there you go. Uh, I thought I put quite a bit of thought into what I wanted to do, you know, with this year's money. And this seemed to make the most sense. Now, there are still, you know, some some big item purchases that I have planned for this series. So we're not done yet. Um, you know, we, there, I, I'm expecting to, to go for a few more years here on Elm Creek in-game years before we start thinking about wrapping up the series. Um, but this this is kind of what I wanted to do next. And again, this will probably be the most single expensive thing we will ever purchase in this series. Um, but I'm glad we have it now. So, yeah, we'll just have to watch it and see, you know, what, uh, what it does. In fact, you know what we could do? Why don't we just advance the time uh, to... Let's advance it to 9 a.m., Okay, and then bring it back down again. Okay. And so now we have distributed 305 
1,382 liters into the biogas plant, and that's going to start making uh, stuff for us. Now, I don't believe we get paid from the biogas plant until midnight, so we won't actually see any money come in until tomorrow. And what I really want to do is I want to just see how much we make in an actual 24-hour day uh, from this. So there we go. All right. Nice. We are now the owners of the biogas plant. We'll see how things go. Look at the bins are all full. Now, remember, we are having to pay for distribution. So the assumption is that we, you know, we have some employees um, that hauled this stuff over here and that uh, comes out of the uh, delivery cost production oh wow look at that <laughs> we got charged ninety three thousand. Oh, we might need to look at that dang man seriously uh wow <laughs> that's we are $48,000 into the negative. There's no way it would have cost that much money to haul all this over here. Absolutely no way. Oh, man. Um. Okay. That's crazy. That can't be right. That can't be right, you guys. No way. Um. All right, we're gonna have to. I'm gonna have to reload and turn that down, like way, way, way down. Goodness gracious. Um. Yeah. Okay. Let me. <laughs> like what? All right. I'm gonna reload the game. I'm gonna quit without saving, and we're gonna have to massively turn that value down because that's that's just not right all right i'll be right back goodness gracious sakes alive okay so i restarted the game and i'm actually going to set the distribution cost factor back to just one because i'm curious to see how much even just that's going to cost so let's deactivate all of these uh, let's go to our silage factory, which is all the way down here. That is factory one. And set this to distributing. Okay, let's go ahead and go into 9 a.m. Okay, so the silage was moved. How much were we charged for it? Okay, only $1,200 for that. <clears throat> um, I think, I mean, if I, okay, so let's think about this. If I set up auto drive and had workers and I, I don't I haven't adjusted the auto drive worker uh, pay from the vanilla game so it's all just the same and had them bring enough loads here to fill all of that up it would definitely cost more than twelve hundred dollars I think pretty sure it would um I mean if we okay so if we look at January for example when we had all those workers going we pay $10,000, which gives um, a little bit more of an, of an idea of how much that would cost to, to distribute that stuff. So I had the factor on 15, and that was like 80000 One brings it back down to... Um, Oh, that just bumped up to 6,000 though. Why did that change? Oh, maybe, okay, maybe that had, 
maybe it hadn't registered that this had been delivered. And what we saw there was other pallets being distributed. 64. Okay. I still think that might be a little bit on the low side. So here's what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to restart the game again. And I'm going to set that factor to... Let's just set it to 2. Yeah, let's just set it to 2. It might be a little higher than it should be, but I think it'll be more in line with, you know, what what's realistic there. At least realistic according to the wages that the base game pays for workers. Whatever that actually is. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so we're back. Um, let's go into here and down to revamp, and we're going to set this factor to two. Okay, so save that. Now we're going to go into here and we're going to find our biogas plant. Where is the biogas plant? Should be showing up in here. Oh, does it not show up in the... It shows up here. It's... Oh, it shows up kind of in between the greenhouses, which is really weird. Okay. Yeah, there it is right there. Okay, so we want to uh, deactivate this, this, and this. That's activated. Um, now we want to go down to our Silas Factory 1. And set that to distributing. <clears throat> uh, okay, so let's go to 9 a.m. Speed up the time here. Okay. So this is full. And if we look at our funds... That's $12,000. Okay. I think that's, that's probably about, I don't know. I might be paying a little bit more, but then again, probably not in the real world. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep that factor on two for now and just kind of keep an eye on it and then, you know, adjust accordingly. I'm not sure if I can put like 1.5, you know, if you can put decimals in there or if it has to be integers. But we're going to just keep it on two for now, and I'll keep an eye on it. If, and if I feel like it's too high, then we might adjust it. But again, you know, it took our workers, right, <laughs> several truckloads of that silage. Well, 300,000. Okay, actually, let's look at it this way. Uh, they loaded around 300,000, and our trailers can hold, um, um, well, we have one trailer that can hold 60,000 liters. Well, let's just say 50 to keep the math easy. Right, so um, that means that that was six trips for the workers to get 300,000 liters over here. Oh, uh, man, I don't know. That's That seems seems like we paid them more than we should have <laughs> for that, according to the in-game money. But I'll tell you what. Let's just leave it the way it is. And like I said, I'll keep an eye on it. And if I feel like it's over, if it's too much, we'll, we'll see if we can put like a 1.5 in there or something like that but we'll just keep it at two for now. And again, in the real world, it would probably cost even more than that for us to pay, you know, a worker or two workers to do that. So we might just assume that and leave, leave, leave it as it is and, and go from there. Okay. So again, um, I'm not really going to get a feel for how much we're going to make in a full day until a full day goes by. So so really we need to kind of get to April 3rd and see how things go on the 2nd to, to see, you know, how much money we actually make on the biogas plant. But there's, there's supposed to be a, a category for it. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Yeah, biogas plant income. So we have an, a, a category directly for biogas plant income. Um, so we'll see where that ends up um, after we go through an entire day 
on, uh, you know, all through April 2nd and on April 3rd. And I don't think seasons, you know, have any bearing on that. I mean, you know, it's, it's power is basically what we're paying for or what we're getting paid for. We're generating power. And that, I would think, anyways, probably stays pretty even year round. But I don't know. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe the power prices do fluctuate somewhat. I'm not uh, knowledgeable in real life about how all that works. So, yeah, we'll just kind of see what happens there. We'll repair this so it's in good shape. All right, you guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the hay contracts. I've got, I think I have three silage, and then the rest of them are hay. Um, and I also took another $12,000 fertilizing contract on, on the enormous field 70, uh, which will be where, oh, and I guess I took a 10000 on field 32 to, as well. Um, so, yeah, th I think it's 71, 50 to 60, and those two are silage, and the rest of these are all hay. Everything's going to the animal dealer. I had to reset the contracts a few times to get them to go to animal dealer instead of to my own productions because, you know, that doesn't really work too well. So I'm going to work on this stuff, and then I think what I'll do is uh, I'll bring you guys back on April 3rd or maybe even we might even go into May. Uh, before I bring you back and we'll see, you know, how much money we made from the biogas plant in that 24 hour period. Okay, so I'll see you guys on either April 3rd or May 1st. All right, guys, we are back. It is actually June 1st. I went ahead and just moved all the way through May because there was nothing really going on. We didn't have anything to do on our own farm. Um, there were no contracts to do. So I, I could have sold some chocolate, but I decided to wait and just, you know, sell the chocolate in January. Uh, so, yeah, we moved all the way through. So let's take a look at uh, the finances here. So it appears that we make uh, around $63,810 a month from the biogas plant. That uh, This is a little less because uh, we didn't start at the very beginning of April. And so um, if we take that figure, let me get my uh, phone out and get the calculator up. Uh, so, uh, so 63, 8, 10, and multiply that by 12, that brings in $765,720 a year, which is very close to what I think um, we, we were selling all the silage for at the end of January. So the good thing about this is if we're even if that is a break even situation, um, and it's very close. The good thing about it is we're getting all that money. We're not having to to haul all the silage, you know, to the biogas plant in January, and on top of that, this uh, the biogas plant has generated as much. Let's take a look. It's generated as much digestate in one month, well, no, sorry, in two months, 120,000 liters, as our cow barn has generated slurry in, you know, since whenever the last time we <clears throat> emptied it out. I don't even remember. Well, the last time we would have emptied it out would have been when we fertilized field 57, which would have been in October of last year. Because uh, if we look at the cow barn, um, it's taken that long to replenish almost the same amount <clears throat> of slurry as our biogas plant has created in only two months. So let's see, if it's June, then yeah, that means, that means it took our, our cow barn uh, seven or eight months to produce as much slurry as our biogas plant has produced in digestate in two months, which is really, really good. Uh, slurry and digestate, at, in, at least in terms of fertilizer, uh, are I you know they're the same thing. They're synonymous with one another. So uh, our slurry spreader also will spread digestate in exactly the same way. So that's a really good benefit, right there. So essentially, even if it if, if it's even in every other respect, um, we don't have to do all of the hauling in January. We're getting um, slurry 
at a much faster rate. I'm sorry, we're getting digestate at a much faster rate than we're getting slurry. And that money's coming in monthly instead of having to wait till the end of the year. I mean, we're already up to $411,000, you guys, uh, which is really cool. Now, of course, some of that also is from, um, you know, the greenhouses and the, and the, I did some fertilizing contracts and the hay and that sort of thing too, but uh, it's a really good deal. Okay, so I like it. I like it. I, I, I'm glad that we made that uh, that move. Um, we only paid twenty one ninety four in May. I, I think this was so high just because we moved so much all in one fell swoop. Uh, but now it just kind of keeps up with it. So um, you know, this is comparable to like what February, March was a little higher. But I think we're pretty good with that figure there, with that factor of two that we set for, uh, you know, for the pallet distribution. Okay, so um, let's see. We didn't purchase anything in May or June. All of these figures are more or less the same uh, as they would usually be. Uh, we made one hundred eight thousand one hundred seventeen dollars from the greenhouses in May because I didn't sell anything, any other products, and sixty eight thousand from the biogas plant and all of that digestate. So not bad. Uh, we need to get this loan sell uh, uh, or paid off. So let's let's do that now. Get get the loan taken care of. Okay, and that still leaves us with one hundred sixty one thousand um, dollars after the loan's paid off, which is not bad at all. Okay, very cool. So let's see. It is June. Um, as far as contracts goes, there isn't really anything worth my time in the contracts. Uh, there is a barley field, but it's just, it's not enough to, to make it worth my while. So we're not going to do any contracts in June. We do need to do our second hay cutting, however. So we're going to get that taken care of and, you know, throw everything in the silage factory. And then, of course, I've got, um, you know, the usual farm chores to do. And, um, yeah, so that's pretty much where we're at. So I'm going to uh, do the second hay cutting and uh, get the chores done around the farm and then next month which is july we will be harvesting our big wheat field in field 57. so that's what's coming up guys and i think at that i'm gonna leave you here uh with this episode and i'll bring you back in the next episode um probably in july yeah to to, to do our big wheat harvest that'll be fun and then we're gonna convert that field back over to a hay field just like we did last year uh, so that we can get one big hay harvest out of it and then plow it under for two applications of fertilizer uh, because it then becomes green manure for us uh, after we roll it. So it's just a really good deal. It's a little bit of work, but it's certainly uh, worth it to do that. Okay, um, so that is it. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.